In this lesson, we are going to learn the surface area of the square base pyramid. This is the block of the square base pyramid. Its base is square in shape. Square in shape. This is the base of the square base pyramid. Length of four sides are equal. Length of four sides are equal. This is the base. Uh, length of this square base pyramid is the side length of the square is 10 centimeters. Length of all these four sides side length is 10 centimeters. Then other four sides are triangular in shape. Triangular in shape. Area of area of all these four triangles are equal. This is the perpendicular height of this triangle. This tra these triangles these triangles are equilateral triangles. Equilateral triangles. Sometimes they may, may be this the perpendicular height of the triangle. Perpendicular height of a triangle. Eight. Eight. When we join the when we join this point when we join this point and the center of the square base it is the height of the pyramid it is the height of the pyramid when we join the center of this base when we join the center of this base and this vertex is the height of the pyramid. It's the height of the pyramid. is equal area of the base area of the base is 10 multiplied by 10 it's a, it's square in shape plus area of the base and area of the base plus Area of the four, triang four triangles. Area of the four triangles. Then we think the perpendicular height of this side is equal. 8 centimeters. Now... We are going to draw the square base right pyramid. Square base means base is a square. Base is a square. 
when we draw it. This is the base. These all the four sides are equal in length. All the four sides are equal in length. This is the base. Base. This is the base. Square base. When we, when we draw the diagonals, when we draw the diagonals, they are Intersect. They are bisect. Perpendicular. What is this? This is the center of the base. Yes. Now. Now, square base, right pyramid. Right pyramid means the, this is the apex of the square base pyramid. This is the apex. This is the apex of the square, square base pyramid. When we join the Apex and the apex and the center of the base. This is the perpendicular height of the square base right pyramid. Perpendicular height. Perpendicular height of the pyramid. The square base right pyramid has four triangular faces. Four triangular faces. Four triangular faces. This is one triangular surface. One. One, two. Three, four, four triangular faces, four triangular faces. All these four faces are equal in the area and they are congruent. These two, two sides are equal in length. Sometimes... All these three sides are equal in length and these three angles are equal in magnitude. The perpendicular height to this vertex, from this vertex to this edge, we call it to the perpendicular height of the triangular surface. This is the perpendicular height of the pyramid. The height from this apex to the center of the base. It is the perpendicular height of the pyramid. This height is the perpendicular height, the perpendicular height of the 
triangular face. Triangular. Perpendicular height of the triangle. Yes, the surface of this uh, square base pyramid. One square. This base is square shape, and all other four faces are. Triangles. This is the perpendicular height of the triangular surface. Perpendicular height of the triangular surface. Next question. The length of the base of the square base pyramid is 10 centimeters the length of the slant edge the length of the slant edge here this is the slant edge this is the slant edge the length of the slant edge is 13 centimeters find the surface area of the square base pyramid now, we are going to find the perpendicular height of the triangular surface. Here, 30 centimeters is the length of the slant edge. Then, length of the square base is 10 centimeters. Now, uh, the length between, the, between this vertex and the middle of the Edge, middle of this edge the length between this vertex and this point is equal half of 10 is 5 centimeters 5 centimeters now using the Pythagoras relation we can write 13 square 13 squared is equal 5 squared plus x squared. We find the height of perpendicular height is the length of the perpendicular height of this triangular surface is equal 8 centimeters. x squared is equal 13 squared subtract 5 squared. 13 squared is equal 169. 5 squared is 25. Equal 144. X squared is, X is equal 12 centimeters. The perpendicular height of the triangular surface is equal 12 centimeters. The surface area of the pyramid is equal. Area of the square base is equal 10 times 10. Plus 4 times sur surface area of the triangular surface. Uh, surface area of the triangular face is equal half into base is 10. Perpendicular height is equal to A. Multiply by 4. 10 times 10 is equal 100. 2 times 6. 6 times 10. 60. 60 multiplied by 4 is equal 240. 240 plus 100 is equal 340 square centimeters is the answer. Next question. The 
side length of the base of a square base right pyramid is 16 centimeters and the height of the perpendicular height of the pyramid is 6 centimeters find the perpendicular height of the triangular surface then this is the triangular surface we take the perpendicular height of a triangular face as x centimeters and the half of 16 is 8 centimeters and then the perpendicular height of a pyramid is 6 centimeters the center of the base of the right pyramid is this the distance between the center of this square base and the this point the midpoint of this edge is half of 16 is equal 8 centimeters. Then the perpendicular height of the triangular surface. It is the diagonal. Is this. It is the diagonal of this right angle. Now using the Pythagoras relation. X squared is equal 6 squared plus 8 squared. 36 plus 64 is equal 100. X squared is equal 100. X is equal square root of 100 is 10 centimeters. The perpendicular height of this triangle is equal 10 centimeters. Now the surface area of the pyramid is equal surface area of the base is 16 multiplied by 16 plus the surface area of first four triangular surface. Surface area of one triangular surface is half into base. Base is 16 multiplied by height. Height is 10. We multiply by this value by 4. 16 times 16. What is the value of 16 times 16? 156. Yes, 156. Here, 2 times... 256. Yes, 256. Plus, 8 times 10, 80. 8 times 4, 32. At 0, 320. The answer is... 560, 576, 576 square centimeters. Square root of 61 is equal 7.81. 7.81. Multiply by 2 is equal. 15.62 15.61 Surface area of the pyramid is equal Surface area of the square is 20 multiplied by 20 plus Surface area of the triangle Half multiplied by 10 Multiplied by 15.62 6 1 <coughs> multiply by 4 2 times 2 then 2 times 15.61 2 times 1 2 2 times 6 12 remaining 1 2 times 5 10 plus 1 11 2 times 1 2 plus 1 3 multiply by 10 
twenty equal four hundred. Four hundred plus then multiply by ten. Decimal point moves one place to left, right. One place to right. Three hundred twelve point two is equal to one. Seven hundred twelve point two is squared centimeters. Is square root of two hundred forty-four. Ah, uh, by divide by two. One hundred twenty. Two again divide by two sixty-one. Then we can write two hundred forty-four is equal four times sixty-one. Is square root of two four is two. Two root sixty-one. Now using the logarithm table. Ten square is equal hundred. Twelve square is one hundred forty-four. Then two hundred forty-four is equal x. This uh, perpendicular height of this triangular surface is the Length of the diagonal is in this right angle triangle. Next question: The length of the square base is twenty centimeters. Perpendicular height of the pyramid. This is the perpendicular height of the pyramid. Perpendicular height of the pyramid. This is the perpendicular height of the pyramid. The height, the height from the center of the base to this vertex. The height from the center of the surface to this vertex. Perpendicular height. Find the surface area of the pyramid. To find the surface area of the pyramid, we we must find to the area of the square base. We can find it with square of twenty, and we must find the four area. For the surface area of these triangular faces, then find the area of the triangle. We multiply half with the length of base. It is twenty with the perpendicular height of the triangle. Now we are going to find the perpendicular height of the triangle. Here, from from this center, from this center, and from this center to the middle of this base, from this center to middle of this base, the distance, the distance. From the distance from center of the base to middle of this side is equal half of the length of this edge. Half of the length of this edge. The length of this edge is twenty centimeters in this question. Then. This distance is half of twenty is equal ten centimeters. Ten centimeters. When we find the perpendicular height of this triangle, perpendicular height of this triangle. This is the perpendicular height of this triangle. We take the perpendicular height of this triangle as six. Then here, 
product then there this is the perpendicular height of the triangular surface perpendicular height of the triangular surface this is the center of the square base this is the perpendicular height of the pyramid perpendicular height of the pyramid is this then there is a right angle triangle right angle triangle this is the hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse and this is triangle this is a triangle this is the this is a right angle triangle we take we take the here we take the perpendicular height of this perpendicular height the length of the perpendicular height of this triangle is x but here there also a, this is a right angle but here this perpendicular height is the diagonal of this right angle here there is a right angle this is the diagonal this x in this right angle triangle this x is the length of the diagonal and here there is a right angle this length is half of 20 half of 20 half of 20 and 2a this side length is 2a then using the pythagoras relation when using we using the pythagoras relation x squared is equal to 12 square plus 20 square not 12 not 20 10 10 yes half of 20 is 10 10 squared 10 squared plus Slant height of the square base pyramid is 5 cm. This is the slant height. In single allows it. This is the slant height. Slant height of the square base pyramid is 5 cm. Side length of the base is 6 cm. Find the surface area of this pyramid. Now we are going to find the perpendicular height of this triangular surface. Square side length of square is 6 centimeters. This perpendicular height is bisector. Perpendicular bisector of the this side length length of this side is 6 cm half of 6 cm is 3 cm to find the surface area of the square base pyramid we find the area of the circular base and find the area of the triangular surface. This triangular surface. Slant height. 
This is the sand height. It is 5 centimeters. Sand height is 5 centimeters. We are going to find the perpendicular height of the triangular surface. Length of this. Yes, good. Uh, now, by using the Pythagoras relation, we can find the perpendicular height of the triangular surface. We use the perp Pythagoras theorem h squared plus 3 squared is equal 5 squared. h squared is equal 5 squared subtract 3 squared. 5 squared is 25. 3 squared is 9. 25 subtract 9 is equal 16. h squared is equal 16. H is equal 4 centimeters. Here H is equal plus or minus positive or negative 4. But height is not negative. Then H is equal 4 centimeters. Perpendicular height of the triangle is 4 centimeters. Surface area of the pyramid is equal Surface area of the square base. Surface area of the square base is equal 6 into 6 plus. Surface area of one triangular surface is equal half multiplied by 6 multiplied by 4. Surface area of four triangular surface. 6 times 6, 36 plus. Surface area of 1 triangular surface is 12. 4 triangular surface is 12 times 4 is equal 48. 48 plus 36 is equal 84 square centimeters. Square base pyramid. Base is square in shape. Other faces are triangular in shape. There are four triangular faces. There are four triangular faces. All these four faces are congruent and equal in area. Equal in area. These two sides are equal in length. Sometimes all these three sides are equal in length. These two angles are Equal in magnitude. When all these three sides are equal in length. Then all these three triangles. Magnitude of all these three triangles. All these three angles are equal 60 degrees. When only these two sides are equal in length. Magnitude of these two angles are equal. This is the perpendicular height of this triangular face. Perpendicular height. Angle between this perpendicular height and this side is right angle. We can we can find the side length with substitute Pythagoras relation to this right angle. This is the hypotenuse of this right angle. When we use the Pythagoras relation 
to this right angle right angle triangle is square of the length of the hypotenuse is equal sum of the squares of these two sides now we are going to do the exercise of this theorem when we draw the square shape base pyramid this the perpendicular height of the pyramid when we join the center of this square and this vertex it is the perpendicular height of the pyramid the magnitude of the angle between this perpendicular height and the square base is right angle right angle now uh, side length of the square is 6 cm perpendicular height of the triangular surface is equal 10 cm 10 cm perpendicular height of the pyramid is equal 8 cm now surface area of the pyramid is equal surface area of the square base surface area surface area of the square base plus surface area of four triangle triangular faces square of the square of the side length of the base 6 base is the square in shape area of uh, square is equal side length multiplied by side length 6 times 6 plus area of the triangle is equal half into base into height half multiplied by the length of the base is 6 cm multiplied by height of the triangular face is 10 cm half multiplied by 6 multiplied by 10 this is the surface sorry this is the area of one triangular face then this square base pyramid has four triangular faces we multiply by the area of one face by 4 area of the base is equal 6 times 6 36 plus 4 times 2 times 1 2 2 2 times 3 6 area of the area of one triangular face is 30 cm yes 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 and 156 square centimeters yes good
the side length of the square is 20 centimeters and the perpendicular height of the triangular surface is 15 centimeters find the surface Thousand square centimeters hmm? yes Thousand square. okay good a surface area of the square base is equal 20 times 20 plus surface area of four triangular surface is equal half into base base is 20 centimeters perpendicular height is 15 centimeters times 4 2 times 2 4 we add 2 zeros to n plus 2 divided by 2 1 20 divided by 2 10 10 multiplied by 15 150 multiply by 4 is equal 600 600 plus 400 is equal 1000 square centimeters yes find the perpendicular height now these x x is equal 25 centimeters and this is the perpendicular height and this length is equal this length is equal half of 30 is equal 15 centimeters these measurements are in the right angle triangle Using Pythagoras relation, 25 squared is equal to h squared plus 15 squared. h squared is equal to 25 squared subtract 15 squared. By using the knowledge of factors, 25 plus 15 is a one factor. Other factor is 25 subtract 15, 40 multiplied by 10 is equal 400. H squared is equal 400. H is equal square root of 400 is equal 20 centimeters. The perpendicular distance between the apex and the center of the square base is equal 20 centimeters.